Today on Nick's English Hot Hot Seat, we'll be talking to Coach Mike Eckler. To the hot seat. Coach, this is your first year in Bloomington. How are you liking Indiana so far? I love it. I mean, people are great. Uh, the town is incredible. University is fantastic. Um, it's been a great experience so far. Um, your iPod, I have to ask, what's on it? I got a lot of country music, a little David Allen Coe, a lot of Bob Marley. I'm a Jamaican citizen, so I got to stay true to my roots. You had an embarrassing moment when you were coaching at another university. Can you tell me about that? Well, I, I got hit pretty good in the groin um, when we were playing KU, and, but I turned it into a positive. I told him um, on an interview after the game, I told the announcer that I needed two weeks of intense therapy. So my wife uh, thought that was pretty good. I recently watched a YouTube clip of you playing football. You kind of get into the games. Can you tell me about that a little bit? You know, I set an NCAA record for having the most fun of anyone who's ever played, and that's my goal as a coach. I want to have the most fun of anybody who's ever coached this game. And by doing that, you got you to gotta win, and that's, that's why we're here. Your living situation, when you first got to Bloomington, tell me about that. You know, I just rolled into town and, and rolled in in our 45-foot RV and parked it right in the stadium and, and uh, took up shop for a few months. Did anybody ever mess with you at all? Yeah, one of our players unplugged me one time. So I'd, I had this routine. I'd get up and come in about 5 a.m. and I'd always walk out of the stadium. You know, at night I'd always get back there about 1, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I go in there and I've got an automatic uh, keyless entry in that. And I go and, I, and you always hear, you know, hear it. And I, I kept hitting it, nothing. And they had unplugged me and my battery was dead. So the heat was off and yeah, it was, I told them once I figure out who did it, they're in trouble. Looking into the future, what do you foresee happening with Indiana football? Uh, you know, when I played at Kansas State, we, it was very similar to what it, the situation we walked into now. And by the time I was a junior and senior, we were a top 10 program. And, and that's what, um, obviously, that's, that, that's a goal. That's what you want to build to, and, and um, that's what we're shooting for. Hey, Mike, thanks a lot for joining us here on Hot Seat.